Hello ladies and gents and welcome to week six of our Shakespeare class. Woohoo! You've made it halfway! Booyah! Yep, you read a bunch of plays and sonnets and you're rocking it. So give yourself a little round of applause, a little pat on the back, bask in the brilliance that is you for a minute. Did you bask? All right, awesome. All right, now we gotta move on because we continue forward. Uh, so this week we get to work with Twelfth Night and Twelfth Night is one of Shakespeare's very fun plays. Uh, lots of cross-dressing, which is always fun. Um, in this play, we have, once again, twins. And, once again, twins that get mistaken for each other in a series of very humorous and sometimes super awkward events. Um, so, today, you're going to be reading the intro to Twelfth Night in our handy-dandy giant doorstop of a textbook uh, and then you will start reading the play that's going to start on page 487 in your monster book uh, once again you don't have to read the play all on Tuesday um, but do have it read by Friday because you're going to need it then on Wednesday I have a really great article called Molding Malvolio um, that I think you're really going to enjoy he is such an interesting character in this play um, and kind of a hotly discussed character as well. He's got a very interesting arc. Um, and people are very split, like 50-50, how they feel about this character by the end of the play. People hate him or they feel very sorry for him. Uh, and it's sort of just like either or. There's not a lot of middle ground there. Um, so really interesting character great discussion in this article that's linked for you in the modules tab so you'll need to read through that article it's pretty short so don't worry and then watch the recorded lecture on 12th night in the modules tab i'm working on that today it's pretty typical i work on those on monday and i'll post it by this evening uh, so you'll have that to watch well in advance of wednesday then uh this week we're doing something a little different for our video instead of watching a direct um production of the play we're going to watch an interpretation of the play so uh we're going to watch a movie called she's the man which is a modern adaptation of shakespeare's play um 12th night this is very common in hollywood to adapt a play take its basic premise and then modernize it give it a twist change it a bit but the basic plot structure is still shakespeare uh, we've seen this a lot. Um, I could give you a huge list of examples. Just off the top of my head, uh, there is a play called Taming of the Shrew, which is a fabulous play. We don't get a chance to read it this quarter, but if you ever have the opportunity, good stuff. Uh, Taming of the Shrew, excellent play, adapted in the movie Ten Things I Hate About You with Heath Ledger. So basic premise, Shakespeare, but modernized for a current kind of audience. Um, the plot of Hamlet serves the basis of the Lion King, so that's fun. We'll talk more about that when we get to Hamlet in a couple weeks. Um, so She is the Man is that same kind of modern adaptation of Shakespeare's work. And so we'll be looking at She is the Man, and then we're going to be doing a side-by-side -side sort of analysis for our Friday assignment. So you will need to make sure you watch the movie uh, so that you can complete this assignment. So what you're asked to do on Friday is to have fully read the play and fully watch She is the Man, and then you're going to compare and contrast some of those ideas. So um, you are going to be taking information from She is the Man and information from Twelfth Night and using that to answer these seven questions. Uh, each of these questions should be answered in depth, so I'm looking for at least three to five sentences per question. They do need to be complete sentences. Do make sure to carefully proofread all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. Um, and you do need to use quotes to support at least some of your answers. I'm expecting to see at least four quotes in totality. You can use more than that. Absolutely. Go for it, you rock stars. Uh, but you need at least four, and they should be cited. You can take those quotes either from the play itself or from the film. So if you're going to use quotes from the play, you know how to do that already. Um, if you want to use quotes from the movie then I'll show you how to do that. There is a great website called The Owl Purdue. 
and they have it for MLA format and APA format. So if you ever need it for any of your classes, this website, super cool stuff. Um, and it gives you basic in-text citation rules uh, for MLA format. And of course, that's the one we're using in this class. So many dang ads. Come on, I'm not interested in that. All right, so if we take a look at our citations, it'll let you know different categories for citations. So then you just scroll down until you find the thing that works best for you. Uh, if it's a work by multiple authors, um, but right now we're looking for a movie. So transcripts, plays, or screenplays, it shows you how to do that. Sources from the internet, non-print sources, electrical sources, um, basically everything you need is here. So if you need to do an in-text citation for the movie, that is available here as well. Snazzy, huh? So that's how you're going to complete the assignment. Um, there are some very interesting ways in which the movie differs from the play. And so I'm really excited to see your thoughts on this adaptation, whether you think it honors Shakespeare, if you think it is in line with his kind of comedic style, like if Shakespeare got transported to the 2000s, uh, would he have been stoked for this movie? Would he rated it high on Rotten Tomatoes? Or would he have been a critic of this movie? Um, so interested in your thoughts and opinions, there really are not a lot of wrong answers. Like there are well-supported answers and poorly supported answers. That's absolutely a thing. But there, this isn't like math where there's only one right answer, right? That's kind of the fun of the humanities is we, we have a little more gray area in which to discuss things. Um, so tell me about how the movie stays true to the Shakespeare original. How does it differ? Uh, this movie is described as a romantic comedy. The play clearly falls under comedy parameters in Shakespeare's genres. So what makes it that kind of comedy? Uh, how does the, the play um, and the film employ dramatic irony? And if you're interested in what dramatic irony is, uh, it's always good to look for terms that you don't fully understand. And so I'm going to be topi talking words about dramatic irony in our video on Wednesday. But in case you need more definitions, it's always good to look up the definitions. So what's dramatic irony? You can look it up in the Encyclopedia Britannica. It's a form of irony that's expressed through a work structure. The audience's awareness of how the character exists versus other characters. There's a lot of dramatic irony in this play because we know the main character Viola is a girl, but everyone else in the play thinks Viola is this boy named Cesario. So there's going to be lots of dramatic irony happening. Lots. So make sure you understand those terms uh, before you jump into the assignment. What does Viola mean when she says, just so you know, everything you told me when I was a guy just made me like you so much as a girl. Very, very similar kind of thought and expression to the play where Viola starts talking to Duke Orsenio um, after she's revealed to be a woman instead of the man Cesario. Um, good stuff there. And then what attracts Olivia to Sebastian, uh, both in the play and in the movie, you will see that kind of crossover. Uh, and then give me one example of dramatic irony. I need a quote to back you up. Uh, and then one example of situational irony and a quote to back you up. I'm going to talk about both dramatic and situational irony in our Wednesday lecture. So make sure to tune in there for more good stuff. And then you are going to need to respond to at least one of your classmates by Saturday night because this is a discussion. So respond to a classmate and in that response, work to further the conversation. Um, because if we were in class, we would be talking about this play so much because there's so many fun things to talk about. And it's nice to get different perspectives because as Aristotle said, old guy, really smart philosopher, you may have heard of him. Uh, he said everyone has a schema, this underlying conceptual framework of how we understand the world. And that schema is built of all of our life experiences. So when I look at this play, I'm going to see it slightly different than everyone else because I have a slightly different life experience than everyone else. So it's good to be able to share these perspectives because it deepens our understanding and helps us engage with the play in a different way that maybe we wouldn't have gotten to appreciate it before. So ask a question, note something interesting, point out where you might have interpreted it differently. Uh, as long as we're disagreeing with each other in respectful, kind, professional ways, that's awesome. 
because when we have those differing perspectives, it broadens all of our understanding. So that's awesome. Um, so make sure to do that response by Saturday at midnight. Awesome, that's what we're working on. It's gonna be fun. Um, in the modules tab, we have our 12th night folder. This will look bigger after this afternoon because I'll be posting the recorded lecture video um, and the uh, No Fear Shakespeare links. If you're enjoying those, I'll put those up here as well. Um, there is a modern interpretation of 12th night. She's the man, that's the one we're gonna be looking at. Uh, the Columbia Basin Public Library System has a lot of copies of this video. So if you don't wanna pay for it, uh, rent it before your classmates do. Uh, so, so go through the public library system, you can get it there. Um, otherwise, it does cost $3.99 to rent, um, or you can find a friend who, <laughs> who has it, uh, or you guys are probably more tech savvy than me. I'm sure that there are ways to get this video um, that I don't know about. So if you're good with tech and you can find a secret free link, awesome, let me know and I would love to share it with the class. Um, otherwise, it'll be $3.99 to rent or you can get it from the local library. Uh, there is also, if you're interested in seeing uh, the Royal Shakespeare Company performing this play, we have that available for you as well. Um, if you want to see the Shakespeare play performed as a Shakespeare play, just for fun, that's here for you as well. And here is that Molding Malvolio um, link that you're going to be reading on Wednesday. It's not too long, but it's a really interesting discussion of Malvolio because he is a really interesting character. Uh, it says it's 28 pages. You jump. do not need to read all 28, obviously. Lots of those pages are references down here at the end. Um, that's one of the reasons why it's so long. Um, but what I would like you to do is read through at least the first uh, three pages where they start talking about the original Malvolio and then looking at uh, contemporary Malvolio. So read through at least the first three to five pages. If you're interested, of course, feel free to read more. But those first three to five pages, I think, will be very interesting. Also, if you're enjoying it, there are some really fun comics down at the end where people interpret um, the play in a more visual sense. And sometimes that's fun, too. So lots of good stuff in this article. It is long. You don't have to read the whole thing. But at least read the first three to five pages. You can orient yourself to the way experts in the field are looking at these characters and how they um, play out both in Shakespeare's time and in more modern adaptations. All right, this video is too long. I have talked for too long, so we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, have fun with this play, guys. Let me know if you have any questions, uh, and I look forward to seeing what kind of analysis you create on Friday. Happy week, guys.